it's been a very special moment for um, British dressage to get this medal because the, there's never been a medal, let alone a gold one, um, in our sport before. So actually to get a gold one really rocked it for us and I think for all of our fans. And, um, and the fact that, you know, I know the Olympics is about beating everybody, but Germany has dominated this sport for the last seven Olympics winning gold. So, uh, you know, it's doubly special uh, to actually be able to beat them here as well. I mean, we came here with expectations of gold, really. Um, because we were European champions last year, but the Germans had actually uh, regrouped with a great team uh, in Aachen in July, so they looked really, really strong and had some huge scores there. So we knew it was going to be a fight. Um, I think after our first rides, you know, we, we were just like, it was a very narrow margin in the lead uh, going into the second day, but the worst thing for us, I think, with us is we've had to wait another four days to then do our team, finish our team competition off. So, you know, you're stressed all the way to the first day, then you're in the lead, then you can relax one day, and then you've got three days to stress again before we then have to come out and finish the job. Um, but yesterday, you know, I hope that, you know, I went as the first rider, so, you know, my horse went the best he could go, really. And so to get that score up and then suddenly go 3% into the lead, uh, you know, makes it a little bit easier then for the next lot. But none of us could have afforded a bad ride, and none of us did have a bad ride. So it was, uh, it was a really great occasion for all three riders. I think we've had a, a, a lot of support um, in the last four years um, through UK Sport and lottery funding, and we've got a massive backup team behind us, a lot of, you know, we... We haven't needed to lift a finger over these games. Everything's been organised perfectly for us. All we've had to worry about was doing our best to, um, when we were actually sat on the horses, and that's um, you know a great position to be in as, as an athlete. Um, so no, it, it, we've had a fantastic support behind us, and 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 um, thank, thankfully we were able to pull it off, not just for each other, but also for all the, the guys that are behind the scenes. Everyone in my family's dropped their German passports. Everyone's British these days. So, um, no, with it, my parents moved to England when I was one year old. So, um, my brothers and I have all grown up feeling very British, all been through British education and universities, and over here in England. So, it's um, for us, uh, we're you know, I think they're all extremely happy. <laughs> he's actually a very uh, unique. He goes uh, a blueberry colour when he's clipped. Uh, in the winter, and then he's black when it comes through, and then he goes liver chestnut in the summer. So he, uh, yeah, he's uh, very unique. But um, yeah, the as for the sale of the horse, I mean, we haven't, nothing's been done, and um, he's going to go home after here and have a well-earned holiday, and um, yeah, go from there.